In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this color double exposure using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Dhruv here and as you can see, this is the final output. Now as you can see, compared to regular double exposure, here we have a bit different situation. We have base image in black and white and the overlay image is in a single tone. So in entire effect, there will be one dominant color. And yes, you can definitely change the color. So as you can see, we got red, you can also do aqua, whatever color you like. So to create this effect, first of all, let's go to file, open and open the base image. So I'm gonna select this model photo, open it. And first thing, I'm gonna double click on the background, unlock it. And now I'm gonna make it black and white, but we will do it non-destructive way. So for that, go to your adjustment layer here and then select black and white. Uh, so it's black and white, close it. Now let's add the overlay image and for that go to file and this time select place embedded this one and then go and select the photo then go and place it. Normally you can use any photo that you like people, city, jungle, whatever but in my experience I found that uh, building photos especially the one shot at night with long exposures they work the best. Now I'm gonna make it bigger than my actual photo like the background photo so I can move it around and play it with a little bit more. So I'm gonna make it this big, uh, that's enough I think, then go and confirm it. Now go to blending option of this photo and then change it to lighten. So we can start blending the pictures, looking good and now I'm gonna make it black and white. So for that go to your adjustment layer and then select black and white. And in the black and white I'm gonna go and make this one clipping mask. So right click on your black and white and then select create a clipping mask. So this will only make black and white your building photo and this black and white will only make black and white your model. So basically we have more control over everything. Now I'm gonna apply the color tone on the building photo. So for that go to your adjustment layer and select a solid color. And in the solid you can select any color you like. So I'm gonna right click and paste the code that I already have. The code is OC5AHC. Uh, somewhere around in this area you should find your color and so I'm gonna go hit OK. Now I'm gonna go to blending option of the solid and change the blend mode to hard light. But now everything is blue and I only want it on the building. So just like the black and white, I'm gonna right click on the layer and then select create clipping mask. So now only the buildings are affected, but there is another problem. The background photo of the model, it's too bright so we cannot see the buildings properly. So for that, activate your layer zero and after that, go to your adjustment layer and then select curves. Now I'm gonna basically make the image overall darker, but the skin tone. So make it darker from here. So as you can see now the buildings are more visible, but now the skin is also dark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up the point from here. So I think this looks good enough, then go and close it. So the effect is ready and now I'm gonna show you some adjustment that might be useful to you. So first of all, the curves. So select your brush tool uh, and in the opacity, let's pretend it's 100%, okay, by default. So the first thing you can do is make the model a bit more brighter. So I'm gonna go and make it black color here since I'm gonna paint on layer mask. And then you can go and you know remove the curves effect only from the model. But as you can see, it doesn't look that great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to opacity and make it like 15, 20%. So this looks good and then paint on the model. So the model is a bit more visible and you can also have good amount of building as well. So that's one thing and you can also make the buildings brighter. So what you can do, uh, go here, create new adjustment layer and select brightness and contrast, but turn on the clipping mask so it will only affect the buildings. Now you can make them brighter, you can make them dull, whatever you like. So I'm gonna make them a touch bright, so 10% looks good. Now also how to change color. So you can simply double click on this thumbnail here of solid and here you can change to any color that you like. and uh, as you change the color, you will also have to change the tones a little bit. So in the green, as you can see, making it a bit more darker helps more and you can change it to any color you like. So this way you can change all the colors and tone however you like. Also, don't forget that you can move around overlay image here to give it better output. So select your move tool, select the overlay photo and then you can move it however you like. So changing it even a little bit can make a big difference and also when you have your move tool active you can use your arrow key to move around the image however you like. So that's it and this is the final output. I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below. So till then 
Goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.